morning guys we've got an exciting saturday video planned for you today it's uh a concrete job so right now it's about 6 20 in the morning like i said saturday morning's beautiful the birds are out i think for most day it's gonna be really nice 60s something like that but we're finally to the point of getting some concrete poured in this horse barn for the wash area the walkthroughs the tack room the hay room and fortunately for us here at Cairn Creek, we can do all the concrete work in-house. So what that does for you is it'll give you a first-hand view of concrete. So I know we've all had concrete poured at our house or our properties. It's always an exciting time when a concrete truck rolls in and just the feeling of, of getting that concrete. I remember I was probably 25 years old and I built my first house at 21 before I actually was able to do like a concrete sidewalk or concrete patio. I remember that excitement and here we are. Uh, 15, 17 years later, and uh, pour concrete all the time. It's uh, it's uh, old hat to me to do concrete anymore. So I think it'll be exciting. Let's uh, let's show you what we got going on so far. Let's take a quick peek outside. So right here is where we stayed up, probably way too late last night. Um, outside the barn here, this will eventually be a patio area. Right here will be the uh, porch post. For a future 14 by 12 deck off of the I don't know what we're gonna call that room Kimmy Buck Shack all right so as we enter the horse barn here this right side is will be tack room hay storage and general storage I went ahead and put a floor drain in uh, that'll be the center of the tack room so if it ever needs washed down um, went ahead and stubbed in a four inch for future toilet we don't have a septic system or anything like that for this building, but at least it'll be under the concrete for future use. Um, that'll be for a sink in the mud room. Everything else is pretty basic. I uh, want to touch on that floor drain. That's another hillbilly catch basin I put in. And basically we'll be able to tie the horses up and wash them in here and clean them up. Now on this side, this will just be a walkthrough. Then we'll have two stalls on each side of here. Once we get this concrete done, we'll probably start working on some interior stuff. And something else I'll show you guys in a little bit, but Cruzy and Kemi Buck got two goats. They're not in here now, but we have two goats. So now we have several horses, two goats, like six dogs, cats. Oh boy. Here's a concrete buggy. So I'm gonna finish getting my tools unloaded and get them ready. It's always an exciting part of the day is getting ready and getting everything organized before my help gets here, before the concrete truck gets here. So I want to enjoy this next uh, 30 minutes or so. Get things ready.
right, so the concrete truck's still on site. We just got it all down. Um, end up taking about 19 yards, 19 and a half yards. So we've got good slope to our drains. And now the long process begins of letting it set up and start finishing it, crawling it. We'll get some action of that. Concrete truck's washing out. Let's go see what Miss Kim's doing over here. Yippee! <laughs> So with a little bit of that leftover concrete, we put around this head wall. She's gonna stack these stones in there nice and pretty. So this is pass number two with the trial machine on this side. Um, as you can see here, this right side that you're looking at will be like a tack room and storage rooms. So we're going to slick trial finish it. And everything else is broom finished where the horses will actually be walking. Uh, a little more traction. So it's uh, like 1.30. We started at 8. We still got a few more hours left. This is, this is the easy part. All right, 2020. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. You, whoa, you can't just exit out. It wasn't it. All right, time out. We're going to fix that. I messed up. All right, take two. 2020. Zero. Zero. All right. Good work. Boom. Boom. Yeah. So while we're waiting on the concrete to set up, uh, we had to dig this dirt out so the driveway can go around the barn and try to prevent some water going in towards the barn. We're working the, we're downhill from a, a pond and some other stuff, so the water tends to come right towards the barn. Overall, in the big picture, we will do some more drainage stuff, but today, while the concrete was uh, setting up, uh, this is a good opportunity to jump in the equipment. You might ask why we have uh, the mini and the skid going. We do have a bigger track coat and a dozer back there, but this hand for hand, this job works good. Let's go see what Stump's doing with the dirt we're digging out. So where we had the fire pit area on the downside where this uh, future porch will be, we need to bring this elevation up. Uh, we'll eventually probably have a fire pit, a uh, nice area here along the creek side to uh, sit in the evenings by the fire and whatnot. So we're bringing a lot of dirt around here to build this elevation up. Stump don't watch YouTube, so we can say anything we want about him because he will not watch us. Stump's been a buggy driver, now a skid loader driver. Are you liking the new barn, the concrete, the fire pit area? Hey, burner. So basically now on this side it's going to be the slick trial finish. We'll probably burn it out, but we go around the edges on the knee boards and finish by hand. And the trial machine will actually make a better finish. 
Um, using a trial machine actually brings up more moisture and makes it take longer to finish this concrete to smooth it out. Um, but ultimately, it'll be a nice uh, slick surface that's easy to sweep up and spray off. And that's why you your garage floors and stuff are smooth, just easier for maintenance and cleaning. And any outdoor surfaces that might have some moisture, you usually broom finish to have the traction. Come on! Nope. So now Teddy's going to try it. Check out Teddy's attire. Those are socks. Socks only. looking good.